our goal is to transform the learning experience for all of our students. TIP actually began as um, a program called the Partnership for Excellence in Natural Sciences. We started out and we were serving 50 students. We got more funding and moved over into the liberal arts. We now serve over 900 uh, students in our various programs. TIP is first and foremost about academics. When we looked at the kids who were not succeeding in college, what we saw a lot was that people were telling them to take not the regular chemistry course, but the pre-chemistry course, not the regular calculus course, but the pre-calculus course. These are kids, after all, who, when they were in their own high schools, had been class valedictorians. It didn't matter whether they didn't have wireless internet. With everything that was given to them, they had been the kids who had been the champions academically. I'm from a tiny little community called Salineño, Texas. College academic life came as a huge surprise to me. It was totally and completely different from the routine I was used to adhering to in high school because I was so used to being a, a straight-A student. The one focus we have in all of the different programs is that we try to create a small college atmosphere. I was anxious to leave Waco, but when I got here, I was like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, whoa, this, this is a lot. This is not, this is more than what I expected. I feel like I can make the transition easily by myself. I mean, of course, being arrogant, I thought I was going to smoke through college and stuff like that. But uh, when I actually got out to college, I didn't realize how difficult it was until I took my first uh, math exam and I bombed it. I, I think I got like a 50 on the, on the exam. We made sure all the classes were small. We made sure that they were linked to each other so that the students knew each other. We provided mentoring with um, senior students in the area of interest that the student had so that they could have a successful role model. One of my absolutes was that these kids had to take every bit the math and science um, requirement of the typical student, um, in fact more. Out of high school you're like thrown to the lions, you know, and you have no idea what's going on. And having that mentor, tutor, and faculty support definitely helped a lot. And like the free tutoring, that, that got me the A's that <laughs> during my freshman year. It didn't matter what a student's background was coming to UT. If you made them feel as if they could be successful and then you gave them those tools, it didn't matter how challenging the courses were, they were going to be able to do so. Last summer, I went on an archaeological dig in Pilos, Greece, and we were excavating a late Bronze Age site in Iklina. It was a fascinating experience to get to have that practical application of my studies. The TIP program, though, encouraged me to do that my freshman semester because I guess most advisors would advise you to wait. I was able to go to Denmark and learn about firsthand about global health and what it, medical care looks like in a perspective outside of the U.S. I can take that with me into medical school in the future and look at other types of community initiatives that I've learned abroad and apply them in my practices. I really liked my freshman year having a mentor and having someone that would have weekly meetings with me and just ask me how I was doing. I am very excited to um, get to meet my mentees in the fall this coming year. The TIP mentor was actually uh, one of the greatest experiences I had in college. I love tutoring. It's just, I have to say that. And I just, I really like helping them understand the subject of biology. You sort of have to put your, yourself aside a little bit. I mean, I know I was very busy and if that meant that I had to stay up a little bit later to finish up my work so I can spend time with them the next day, then that's what I did. I mean, the look on their faces when they get it, it's like, ah, you know, they're happy, <laughs> and that makes me happy. In terms of responsibility, it was, it was a great challenge, but um, I think in the long run that helped me more than my mentees, and I only hope that they, they took as much from it as I did. It, it's the one time in their education that they're making the decisions. They're in the driver's seat. At first, I thought I wanted to go to med school or, or be in the health professions. And then uh, Dr. Delgado Reyes introduced me into the FRI program. Um, and that's when I learned a little bit more about research. So whether it is the fact that these students, through the Critical Thinking Seminar, find themselves in the Freshman Research Initiative and therefore in research labs, or whether it's because they are asked to put together their own academic curriculum, or whether it's the ambassador program that makes you have to stand there with somebody in a coat and tie. All of these experiences really have a huge impact on them. And I think it's one of the real reasons why you see these kids be so successful later. Right now I'm a second year graduate student studying physics. 
To think that I would have been doing what I am now when I was a freshman, I probably wouldn't believe it in myself. Thank you.